talking about a perfume note that I adore and it is woody notes now we are heading into autumn and autumn is one of my favorite seasons for wearing perfumes because I have a chance to really wear the fragrances that are a lot more pungent and strong and bold and rich perfumes that make a statement vanillas and ouds and I just love this season because now I can actually enjoy wearing those perfumes and I sort of reserve these fragrances for the fall and the autumn. So I have a wide variety, a huge collection of beautiful woody fragrances to share with you. Now, I have a wonderful beverage here to enjoy and I would love you guys to do the same because this video is going to be a little bit of a long one and it has to be a long one because this is like one of my favorite perfume notes or favorite perfume genres so we're going to be talking about woody fragrances fragrances that contains maybe some cedarwood ouds and um, some vetiver patchouli these are the notes I'll be focusing on today so I'm so excited because I've never actually filmed a video like this and I was going through my collection to see what fragrances contain these woody notes and I thought I had maybe two to three. I think I have a collection of maybe around 10 plus, I think. So let's start this video. I'll wait for you to boil the kettle. Right, so autumn is the time to really indulge in these fragrances, to really unwind and relax in the warmth, the blanket that these woody notes give you. I love woody fragrances. Now, when I wear a woody fragrance, it has to have the right blends of wood. So I like more of a sweeter note. And I like when woody notes are blended with maybe some vanilla or some sandalwood in a delicate way. I do like some sandalwood. Um, and I just love that feeling it gives you. It gives you that warmth. Um, it's like a woody hug. <laughs> in the middle of a forest or by the lake and there's a freshness to the woods it's like an earthy freshness that you receive from a woody fragrance now when i wear woody perfumes that's not the only note but it makes up the majority of the long lasting impression from this perfumes so let's start and i'm going to start with one of my favorite perfumes for the autumn and it's also a favorite perfume that i like to wear during the holiday period during the winter around christmas there's something woody spicy and just warming about it so i'm going to start off with this fragrance here so it's my beautiful perfume by diptyque and this is the eau Jewel, and this is my edt version this fragrance just has a warmth to it. It has this richness, rich, spicy, incense warmth, and it's just a wonderful fragrance to wear during the autumn period, and especially when you're heading towards winter as well. This is a gorgeous perfume. Now, the notes in here, I've got them written down for you. This is an oriental, so this is a blend of rich woods, and some vanilla and in the top note we have cardamom juniper we have elemi and in the heart you have some saffron and calamus and in the base we have vanilla black tea and amber in this wonderful fragrance it contains some calamus and elemi and they are both different types of incense this fragrance is an oriental warm rich vanilla fragrance and if you like a bit of incense, some saffron, we have cardamom, we've got the spice in here, we've got the cardamom, we've got juniper, we've got amber and we've got black tea. And this fragrance to me is a warm woody fragrance. It just reminds me of my travels, it reminds me of being in like the rainforest, it reminds me of being on a tropical island in the Caribbean. There is some notes in here that is just so warming. It takes me back to my childhood. It's like this warm, rich, spicy wood with true spices of vanilla and the incense. And it's just so comforting to me. This is just, 
it's just so homely every time I think of this fragrance because we've got the vanilla notes we've got that woody note in here as well it reminds me of the houses on the coast of the Caribbean and um, when you enter the house it's just filled with this rich warmth of woody um, incense vanilla blends <laughs> And this just takes me there. It's just absolutely gorgeous. They have two versions of this fragrance. They have the EDT and the EDP. I have the EDT in this bottle here. I prefer the level or the concentration of the incense in this formula. With the EDP, it's a lot stronger. The incense comes across um, slightly heavier, um, in my opinion. So. Um, for me, this one works very well. I, l I prefer this blend and it's just such a wonderful fragrance by Diptyque. I absolutely adore this. So this is a fragrance I will be wearing um, heading into the autumn seasons now. So this is like my number one fragrance for the autumn. So let me know if any of you guys have tried this fragrance and what do you think? How do you find this perfume? If you like vanillas, then you need to try this. It's beautiful. The next fragrance I have for you is a perfume staple of mine. It's a favorite. It's one of my go-to fragrances. It's almost a signature. It probably is a signature because I wear this fragrance a lot. Now, this fragrance is my Gentle Fluidity Gold, and this is by MFK. This is by Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. Now, this lovely perfume is ever so soft, gentle, and elegant this fragrance to me is just so artistic it's like blended in such a way to create just a new note <laughs> we have juniper berries we have nutmeg coriander musk amberry woods and vanilla and like i said it's just very delicate and soft if you're looking for a fragrance that has a bit of vanilla amber with the woody notes then i would go for this if you want a very subtle woody fragrance then this is perfect for you because it's not heavy it's not overwhelming it's extremely feminine and gentle so the next fragrance i have to share with you is my pen halligan's fragrance here and this is my iris prima now i'll go through the notes with you this one is a woody musky floral fragrance so again if you're looking for a fragrance that is woody but it has some strong florals in there very feminine and sensual then i would consider this fragrance i find this to be very bold and it's very long lasting on the skin you need maybe one to two sprays and you have this ever long lasting um lingering of the fragrance it's just very it's, it's beautiful you really get the iris and the violets in this fragrance here. So the woody notes in this fragrance here, we have sandalwood vetiver, and this is a mix with iris and amber. And I love this fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance to wear, especially now. Um, this is something I could wear in the evenings, going out, um, seeing some friends, you know, going to a nice lounge, going to relax. It's quite, um, quite an intense rich fragrance I find this to be fairly bold so that's my iris prima next fragrance I have for you is a perfume that I find quite alluring you know it's a beautiful fragrance and it's my Jo Malone and this is my velvet rose and oud This fragrance has the woody notes of the rich, warm oud, and I find the oud to be a pleasant oud to wear. I find the wood is very sweet. It blends so well with the cloves and the rose, and the rose is a jammy rose. It's a sweet, syrupy rose, and it's just so alluring, very elegant, a lovely fragrance to wear in the evenings. This fragrance has such a high projection also so i recommend if you're looking for an oud that's sweet and jammy with rose um then this one projects very well another fragrance i have for you is my tom ford's noir de noir tom ford noir de noir oh my goodness me this has to be what made me fall in love with tom ford now 
Tom Ford, oh, I don't know, he could just never do wrong for me, okay? <laughs> I love his fragrances and I love the blends and his creations. My goodness me, <laughs> I absolutely love Tom Ford and I think this is one of the fragrances that made me fall in love with his brand, especially his private blends. Now this is a fragrance that I can only wear personally for myself, I can only wear this in the autumn and <laughs> in the winter and um, so I'm looking forward to wearing this now. I love this fragrance. It has such an elegance to it. It has a deep, mysterious note. It's a little bit sweet, but sweet and dark at the same time. And it's just so beautiful. It's a gorgeous fragrance. It's just gorgeous. And I think this perfume just suits um, in terms of gender. It's, it fits everyone. You know, it's extremely unisex and I just find it suits, it complements a woman so well as it would for a man. It's just amazing how they do that. I don't know how they do that. So in this gorgeous, beautiful fragrance, I love, I can't wait to wear it. Uh, we have the patchouli, oud, wood and tree moss. And this is just dark and sexy. You've got the deep florals in here as well. A little spray goes a long way. This does last for a very long time on your skin. And I love the oud in here. Um, to me, in my opinion, to me, I find this oud to be a sweeter oud. Not sugary sweet, um, not like gourmand sweet, but there's different types of oud notes that I can pick up. And there's some ouds that I really like. There's some ouds I find that's too deep or too smoky for me or too intense. Um, there's some ouds that I just find is a little bit more like versatile and um, just well-rounded and I feel like this one is more on the sweeter side for me. That's how I feel with this fragrance. This is just a perfect nighttime fragrance as well. The next fragrance I have for you is a fragrance that again I just love so much and I'm just so happy to be going through this collection because I love, this is like my kind of fragrances, um, woods and, and oh my gosh, woody notes, we've got the vanillas and spice, oh, we've got the ouds, tonka, anyway, rose, <laughs> I'm just so excited, I just love this type of, um, you know, collection, this is my type of fragrances. This fragrance made me fall in love with the brand um, even more so. I loved the brand originally and now I love the brand even more so. And this is my Miller Harris fragrance and this is my Scherzo. Now this fragrance is just a powdery, sparkly oud. There's something about it, I feel like even when you smell it, it feels like you're smelling like like light clouds of um, rose, clouds of powdered oud. It's just delicate and and gorgeous. It's just such a beautiful scent um, by this brand here. I really love this fragrance. Now the woody notes that we have in here, we have patchouli, we have some oud, and then we have some olibanum, which I believe is a type of um, incense as well, I think so. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. The projection on this fragrance is great. It's long wearing, it's long lasting, and it's very modern, and it's very unique as well. Very unique fragrance, it's beautiful. It's one of those fragrances that I find a little bit captivating as well. It's almost like, the, the fragrance is so unique. It's almost like, what are you wearing? Are you wearing oud because it's just so sweet and powdery? Are you wearing a musk? Are you wearing rose? It's just such a gorgeous blend all together and I really love this fragrance. So I'm really excited to start wearing this in the fall and autumn season. The next fragrance I have for you is my Narciso Poudre. This beautiful soft musk floral. It's just amazing. The woody notes contained in this perfume woody vetiver and then we have black cedar and also some white cedar and that's a blended with some jasmine as well and 
I feel like this, everyone would just like this fragrance. You can't go wrong with it. And if you're looking for a woody note and you want a woody note that's more on the musk side, that is delicate, that is powdery, it makes you feel like a cloud, um, then I recommend this one. This is gorgeous. You get about six hours wear of this and the projection, like I said, is great for this fragrance. So that's my Narcisse Poudre. So the next fragrance I have for you is a perfume that I just love so much and it reminds me of Paris. It reminds me of an evening out. It reminds me of um, dark skies that's just lit up with the Eiffel, the light from the Eiffel Tower. It just reminds me of Paris and that is my Oud Satin Mood. This beautiful fragrance is a wonderful composition of jammy rose petals. You have beautiful sweet oud in here and then you have some violet in this fragrance as well. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. It smells like you've mixed a little bit of Turkish delight in this fragrance um, and then you do have some Bulgarian rose, you do have Turkish rose in here and um, it smells very sweet it's beautiful and then we do have some vanilla and amber in this fragrance as well so if you're looking for a woody note to wear this fall or autumn or you're looking for you know a woody fragrance that is a bit mysterious and sexy alluring it has the depth and it does make a statement this one i have to say like some perfumes it makes a statement and this is one of them you know it's got the sweetness in here um, and if that's what you're looking for, then this is a fragrance I recommend. This is highly, highly long wearing. <laughs> this will last on the skin for a very long time. And um, the projection is out of this world. So consider this if that's the type of woody note you're looking for. The next fragrance I have for you is a Byredo fragrance. And this is Belle de Frique. This wonderful fragrance is... A perfume that I look forward to wearing um, this autumn and winter it has a freshness to it it does have some woody notes um, but there's a freshness to it and it smells so modern and clean and refreshing it's just a beautiful blend by by Rado and um, yeah I just I love it. <laughs> I love it. So the woody notes we have in here, we have some Moroccan cedarwood, we have some vetiver, and we also have some black amber in here as well. So we've got the resins in this fragrance and the freshness is coming from the neroli. We've got neroli, we've got bergamot and lemon, and we have African marigold. And it's just so lovely the citruses in here with the woody notes the amber it's very delightful and it's one of those fragrances it just puts you in a good mood um it lifts your spirits it's like a happy go-to fragrance and i do love this creation by by radio so the next fragrance i have to share with you is a perfume that oh, wow <laughs> Honestly guys, I don't know. It's just it's too much now <laughs> So this next fragrance I have for you is one of my favorite fragrances for so many years now This is a beautiful fragrance. This just defines the autumn. It defines the winter. It's warming. It's smooth It's nutty. It's just beautiful and this is my Tonka Imperial by Guerlain. Now, this gorgeous fragrance has some woody notes and the woody notes in this perfume, we have some cedar wood, we have some pine wood in here, and then it's also blended with some frankincense. So we have some incense in the base of this fragrance. And this perfume is just so beautiful. It's gorgeous. And in the top notes, we do have some bergamot, we have some almond, rosemary, we have tonka bean, tobacco, and jasmine. And I just love this fragrance. It is completely smooth and spicy with some woody notes in there as well. We've got some tobacco in here. 
it's just gorgeous we've got the almond you do get a lot of almond and tonka it's very creamy but woody as well so if you're looking for a woody note that's more on the sweeter side a bit nutty creamy then this fragrance is ideal for you i mean i have to say in this perfume i don't think i can detect the tobacco note as such i can't really detect it so don't be put off by that at all um to me the first thing you're smelling is almond tonka vanilla the spice the incense the cedarwood this is a wonderful creation by Gola. you're going out for a memorable date and you might go to a champagne bar afterwards or you might go to a martini bar and you're wearing a gown it's one of those types of fragrances it's just so warm it smells mature it smells adult it's beautiful that's my tonka imperial i just adore this fragrance and again this is amazing um, as a unisex scent absolutely amazing it's like my tom ford it's like it just suits both genders so well it's gorgeous the next fragrance i have to show you is a pen halligan's fragrance and this is lothair this fragrance is just so ideal for the autumn period now and the main woody notes in this fragrance is we have cedarwood we have oak moss in here as well and we have some fig leaf so we've got the the leaf as well as the fig milk so the fruit as well in this perfume but i do smell the fig i get some freshness in here very light woody note if you're looking for a woody note that really has that figgy note fruity fig um then this is ideal for you it's lovely it's quite fresh as well this smells very masculine to me and i find it to smell like a handsome man very handsome tall muscles you know very just everything <laughs> but this just smells very handsome to me but to me this reminds me of like a really nice aftershave um, but you've got the fig in here and then you have um, geranium in here it's amazing you've got vanilla we've got the musk cedar woods and all the woody notes I mentioned earlier and that's all blended with some ambergris and that's just gorgeous absolutely beautiful it's just such a lovely scent it smells like the evenings it smells like the autumn um, it just smells gorgeous I love this fresh woody figgy fragrance so like I said this is autumn and I have so many fragrances that I would like to share with you during this time because this is now my season to be sharing my favorite fragrances with you so I look forward to making those videos for you and my darlings if you have a request if there's anything you would like me to feature let me know I'm coming keep sending me messages absolutely fine leave me a comment down below and my darlings I am wishing you a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video if you are new to my channel thank you so much for watching <laughs> thank you so much for watching my darlings and I'll see you in the next don't forget to like and subscribe bye